Hey guys, it's Q&A Thursday and I got my sister here. She's my bestie. <laughs> do we look alike? We're gonna do our Q&A and everything. She's gonna be here with me for that. And then at the end of the video, we're gonna announce the winners of Dr. B's Dental Solutions. All right, let's go ahead with the first question. Okay, do you have any tips on how to learn to talk again after getting a top denture? Yes, so when you first get, like the top denture is really challenging because it's so big. It covers so much of the palate of your mouth. It's very challenging at first, um, especially like the, the K sound for me, like saying keep, like you feel it hitting at the back of the denture. Um, S's, you kind of slur those, like it just sounds all choppy. And so what I did to help me practice, for one, slow down. See how fast I was just talking? You've got to slow down and pace yourself and speak very deliberately in order for you to have enough time to adjust your mouth and adjust your tongue and where it's falling and everything. The next tip I have is that you need to be speaking a lot. And so if you read anything, whether it's Facebook status updates, Twitter updates, news articles or whatever, and you're by yourself and can do so, I would really recommend reading those things out loud and just taking a mental note of the sounds that you're having the most difficulty pronouncing so that you can spend more time practicing that. Do your teeth change color after drinking coffee? <laughs> do yours? I guess you get the film kind of, yeah. you know, and yeah. Yeah, immediately after drinking coffee, there's a film and you can see that like with, with mine, they're a little yellowish. And then when I brush them, it clears up. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, same. Same. Yeah. same for her. She doesn't yeah. have dentures, that's her teeth. If you drink coffee long-term over time, it will stain your teeth. And I think probably more so, if I'm not mistaken, with these, since they're acrylic and they're porous and the stains really soak down in there. And unlike bleach over here, <laughs> put all that whitening stuff on our teeth and get them like off the charts white. We can't really do that with these. If you have dentures, then you can soak them and that helps. But if you've got a fixed bridge like mine, then you have to take them in for professional cleaning. And even still over time, it can really dull them up. I would suggest, as I've said before, drinking through a straw. Do I drink through a straw? No. Coffee no. <laughs> is not pleasing. Right? Drinking do you through drink a straw? Through, have fashion. you been told to drink through a straw? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You're not gonna do it either. No. no. I am so scared to get my teeth pulled. What do I do? I think that everybody's scared. And I mean, I've talked to soldiers that have been in war, police officers that have, you know, been on the front lines and in the city, firefighters that storm into burning buildings. You're about to face something that's unknown. Like an unknown is uncertain. You don't know what to expect from it. And so I think that's most of the fear. Most of my anxiety was up front. And then I went in and I got it done. And honestly, when the procedure was over, I was out of it because I, for one, was on pain medication. Um, and it they just numbed me up with like local anesthesia. So I wasn't put under when I got my actual extractions done. And then they gave me, um, I think it was Oxycontin and anti-anxiety medication. I don't remember exactly what kind it was, but he knew I was anxious. And so he went ahead and prescribed that for me. So it kind of chilled me out. But even still, my nerves were shot. And when it was all said and done, I was just tired. I just wanted to go home and crash. And the fear is over. So it's normal to be scared. It's completely normal. Most everybody that I talk to is scared. But the thing is, like, you just do it in the presence of fear. I'm sure that walking the first time was probably terrifying and you don't even remember it. And so if it's something that you have to do for your health then the only way around it is just to go through it there is no way around it and then you'll look back and you'll see that you got through the worst part of it on the front end i get phantom toothaches constantly any ideas how to make it stop it's called a typical odontalgia if there's a dentist watching this then let me know if i pronounced that correctly but basically it's when your tooth has been pulled you get these phantom aches from the nerves. Even if there's not a tooth present, it's almost like, and I'm just, I'm analyzing what I have read. It almost seems like your nerves have memories. Like they've been doing the same thing for so long and sending these signals to your brain that even after your teeth are pulled, your nerves continue to send those signals to your brain. And isn't that wild? That is wild? It is. And I remember feeling stuff like that in the beginning and it just went away on its own. Um, but definitely if you're getting them, 
then you want to talk to your dentist, bring it up to them because there might be some kind of treatment options. I saw on one website that they recommended antidepressants that could possibly help. But for the most part, most of the sites that I read um, when I was researching that was that it's a temporary thing and it goes away on its own. And I know from my experience, it did go away. I just got all my teeth extractions on the top and I'm getting a fixed zirconia bridge, but he put on a temporary in the meantime. It is very big and bulky and I hate it. Is that normal? How did your temporary feel? Okay, so you just got your teeth extracted and you are getting a fixed zirconia bridge. Do you already have implants or is this a temporary removable denture? Either way, I know that when I got my teeth removed and I got a denture, just a regular removable denture, it felt like a hockey puck in my mouth. It was huge. I felt like there was no way, like just opening my mouth, the distance between the teeth was so small. I felt like I couldn't even get a fork in there to eat anything. It just, it felt huge. And then that all settled back in. However, if you've already got your implants in there and you still feel like it's bulky, it could be because this is an entirely different situation. Like you may have gone from teeth to this, but you didn't have all that acrylic in your mouth before. You know what I mean? And so I think that it's natural to feel like these things are bulky. When I went from my last hybrid bridge that I had that I won in the contest to what I have right now, it felt very bulky. I remember I would just sit there and, and do like this because it felt like my lip couldn't fit fully over the teeth. So I think that anytime you get something drastically different from what you had, then it's gonna feel huge and you probably wanna give it a little bit of time just to see if that sensation, that feeling of like a fullness in your mouth goes away. If not, then, you know, your temporary should pretty much match up to what the final product is going to be. So definitely bring it up to your um, dentist or prosthodontist and see what they have to say. But I think that it's pretty normal um, to feel like you've got a hockey puck in your mouth. After everything you know now, would you choose an overdenture just to fill out your face more? For me, you know, I won my implants in a contest and that's that's what I had. And I didn't want to change from what I had. Like I was happy with what I had. Yes, um, the previous set, I didn't feel like they filled out my face as much as I would have liked. And that was corrected with this current set. I do like not having to worry about taking them out. I lose everything. I lose my car keys. Stuff happens. I am known to put my credit card in my freezer. No joke, that's happened to me before. I'd be scared that I'd set them bad boys up on the counter and then I'd see my cat running around the house with them. You know what I mean? I need these with yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm okay. And I still do notice. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, but when I smile real big, See that dip right there? I love my, that's because there's nothing there. There's no support. Whereas if I had an overdenture that snapped in, they would fill that up in the, what is it called? The flanges, which is cool. If I got the overdenture first, I probably would have been cool with that because I had adjusted. So I think it's just personal preference. I think whatever one you decide to go with, both have pros and cons. I do know that what I have is more stable because it's screwed in. It's very um, robust and the overdenture still provides a lot of security, like it is secure in your mouth, but there is a little bit more mobility than what I have. So it's just weighing out the pros and cons and what makes sense to you. Okay, so now we're gonna announce the winners to the contest. And I just want you guys to know that it was very difficult, right? Yeah, it was. Like was Shannon, cool. Shannon picked them. Yeah. What, what were you thinking when you were picking them? Well, when you were reading one, everything? I love reading um, like about kind gestures. I love that. Like around Christmas time, you hear about like all the people like, you know, going into Walmart and paying all people's layaways. And I've always wanted to be able to do that. Right. But <laughs> calm down. <laughs> right. Well, it's going to take a little someday. bit there. Right. <laughs> Maybe someday. But no, I just love reading feel good stories because like you were saying, like people don't, you know, they don't speak about them because they don't want to come off as like they're bragging. But, you know, I think things like that are infectious, you know, and um, like when you pay it forward and you're at the drive through and the person in front of you pays for your food and you get to the window and you find out they paid for your food and you know a lot of times they're like oh well i want to cover the people behind me all of the 
uh, entries were great. And again, all like kind gestures and thoughtful things that, you know, you all have done for people. Um, but the first one was um, Twyla Barnett. She started a fun acting film club for kids that were stuck home during COVID. That's so cool. I know. And right? I know like, you can relate because you've got four kids. Yeah, right? COVID like, was hard for the tough. kids. That was yeah. really awesome. Yeah, I love that. That was a that. really cool idea. Make sure that if you were announced the winner that you message me, you email me. I've got my email listed in all of the description boxes of my videos. It's cal, K-A-L, 32205 at gmail.com and send me your full name and your address and your email address. The next one is Maxwell Media International. He and his wife started fostering a young teenager with autism and other mental disabilities in April of this year. That's amazing. You know, fostering alone is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, fostering teenage kids is amazing because, I mean, that's got to be the toughest kids to deal with as teenagers. Right. <laughs> and then to, on top of that, foster a teenage, um, you know, child with autism, making an impact on that kid's life. Some kids get in the foster system and they don't have the best experience. So you must be doing well if people are recognizing, you know, that you're having an impact, you know, on this kid's behavior and just their life. Ara Pai was the third person I selected. This is something me and Christy are like really big about. There was a girl being bullied and I hung out with her to make it stop. I know it isn't a big deal, but to her it was. It was a huge deal. Yeah. Huge, huge deal. Um, I know Christy and I were the same way, like when we were in school, like, you know, you pay attention to the kids that you think people are bullying and you, you befriend them. Like I teach my kids that. Yeah. Right. And, and yeah. they do that. And they do that. Yeah. Because you know, it's important. You don't want kids to feel isolated at such an important time in their life when they should be able to look back and have like special memories with friends and for what? Like why are you bullying this kid. Please don't think that that is something small. That's not small at all. That wow. is huge. Yeah. And you know, honestly, anytime you do something kind for somebody is huge. You have no idea what people are going through in their lives and everybody like I need kindness. Yeah. She I needs need kindness. kindness. Everybody, everybody needs kindness. So, um, yeah, that's awesome. So those yeah. are the winners. It was, it was so thing. nice reading all the nice gestures. And yeah. Everything though, so. But you know, we're going to be doing more giveaways with Dr. B in the future um, because they're an awesome company. I love their products. I know that you guys, a lot of you love their products as well. And they said that they would pitch in and do some more giveaways. So there will be more opportunities in the future and we're going to switch it up next time. I know it was hard for you to talk about the nice things that you've done because I know you guys don't do nice things just to be recognized but i wanted to recognize it and i'm glad we had the opportunity yeah. to do that this is my sister yay we're always together you <laughs> should follow me on you. i am <laughs> not good at this <laughs> she is definitely the one that is like good at getting on here talking <laughs> and having good camera presence i am like down here filling my thumbs which is crazy because like adjusting my hair <laughs> put put a camera like a hidden camera up and not show her <laughs> that she's being recorded when me and her get together we cut up uh. <laughs> we cut up like we start laughing and we just can't stop it's hilarious <laughs> so that's it for today's q a and thank shannon for coming in and doing the video with me and doing the hard part of picking winners yeah and I will see you guys Monday? Yeah. Monday. All right. You, you guys. guys take care. Oh, she <laughs> took over. She loves when I say take care. That. All right. Y'all take care. Bye.